good morning to everyone. At the cusp of the fun fest, Holi, I invite you all back to the LRC kitchen. This time I have a crispy snack that I hope you would enjoy and will replicate and do send me your feedback on how you liked it. What I have today in store is pakodi made with bottle gourd. I've taken about 250 to 200 grams of grated bottle gourd, uh, which I have grated already and kept it here. So about 200 grams. Along with this, what I'm going to use is basin, a little bit of pounded dhania, some kothmir or fresh dhania, I have also pounded some green chili and ginger, salt to taste, some hing to taste, R red chili powder will now go into a mixture with basin. To ensure that it has a crisp finish, I also have some Bombay rubber. So the first step would be to have grated portion of the vegetable. It has some amount of water in it. So water is one thing that you will avoid unless it becomes very necessary. I am using about roughly 200 grams of uh, chana powder. Also add some chili powder and ginger. Dhania, freshly cut kothmir, you are free to add even chili pieces, salt to taste, little bit of hing. I am adding a bit of red chilli powder, this is optional. And again subject to how spicy you want the end product to be. You will see that as you are mixing it up, there is already a certain binding that happens between the basin and the vegetable. This is largely because the bottle gourd has water in it, so you do not have to add extra water. So I will leave this mixture like this for about 10-15 minutes and then start making the pakori. This is the consistency at which the mix will be like a typical pakodi mix. I have added some more basin. As I said, you are free to add a little bit of rubber to get it crisper. I have added very, very little of rubber also into this. Now drop them gently. Another thing is always have the oil at a boiled level and ensure that it is quite boiling when you have the pakodi mix put into the oil. Needless to say that uh, I had put on the stove and the oil was heating up when the mixture was getting ready. The oil is quite hot therefore you can see that the pakodi is done already one or two of them. When they get to this color consistency, you can remove them. Once they turn golden brown and they are not as yellow like this, it can uh, last for a, 
minute or so more. Another variation of this could be, and I think I have shown you once earlier that you could use a sweet pumpkin. You can make a mixture of multiple vegetables, sweet pumpkin, regular uh, ash gourd, snake gourd, bottle gourd, mix all of them with the basin and make a mixed vegetable pakoda. Yes, this is uh, just about as golden brown as I would like it to be. Ensure that uh, you are not carrying too much of oil that is in the pan into the serving bowl into which the pakodis now go. Put them on tissue paper so that the remains of oil can be absorbed by the paper. So the pakodis are over. Presentation in a while. Total good pakodi is ready, served. Uh, do send me your comments. I'll sign off with acknowledgments to Datu, my cameraman, and Abhinav, my editor. Keep in touch. Bye bye.